Female bears can be divided into two groups in the wintertime, those that are pregnant and about to give birth to cubs, and those that have one-year-old cubs with them. The one-year-old cub dens or the yearling dens, we visit those dens in February. So February conditions can be, you know, pretty tough. We, we're probably standing on two and a half feet of snow right now. We have a sample of about 70 uh, radio colored females that we do this with across the state, uh, two of which are here in Elk County. Typically we have to immobilize the bears, in the, even in the wintertime, even though they're during hibernation, they still have to be immobilized to handle them. Um, they're capable of running from the den, defending the den, so if you want to ear tag cubs or, or handle the animals, you have to at least chemically immobilize them. And the objective of visiting these bears in the winter is to assess survival on cubs that were produced a year ago and the number of newborn cubs that will be produced here in January. This particular bear was radio collared actually on September 11th, 2001. And so she has been wearing a radio collar for almost 14 years. And we have been to her den now 14 consecutive winters to do the same type of monitoring. So this particular bear we saw a year ago in a den um, in the similar area he is here. She had three cubs last year. We ear tagged all three cubs. She's 18 years old at the moment. So she's one of our longest running bears that we've had on the air. So she's kind of a unique bear in that regard. But in this particular case, uh, the den was open enough that we could actually count the number of yearlings that were there, verify that none were missing. We could see that they all had ear tags. So there was no reason to really handle those bears. We, we got the information we needed without disturbing them. So we just looked in with a flashlight, counted how many yearlings were present. So that was the main purpose of today, is to, to come and verify how many of those cubs are still alive. Thank you.